Okay, we got a 2003 Dodge Ram two-wheel drive that we're doing rear brakes and rotors on. Uh, the complaint from the owner of this truck is that whenever he aggressively puts the brakes on, he gets a, a vibration in the back. So the rotors are probably uh, glazed. They're not really worn. So you can have these rotors turned or you can replace them. Uh, we've decided to replace them. So I'm going to go through the simple process of uh, replacing the uh, pads and rotors on a 2003 Dodge truck. And this probably goes for many of these Dodges. First thing you want to do is you got to compress the piston back into the caliper. Now this isn't a recommended method, but it's a method that is easy, fast, and it has always worked for me without any problem. As long as you've got a access to get a big pry bar or screwdriver in here, and you're just slowly pulling back, compressing that piston. Once you get about as far as it'll go, you're done. Now we'll take the caliper off. Just set the caliper right up there on the spring. We're going to pull these pads off. Pads aren't in too bad a shape, but like I say, he had a shimmy, which uh, was, was driving him pretty crazy. Now we're going to take the caliper bracket I'm going to throw that bottom bolt in just to hold it. They got Loctite on these bolts, so they come out hard all the way. Gonna pull the we got new clips. So I'm gonna pull these off. I'm gonna kinda there's not a lot of rust here in Texas, but there's a little rust on it. Now sometimes these drums don't want to come off real easy.
So it's not a bad idea to soak everything down with some WD-40 or whatever you got. So what I'm going to do is just pound on it right around here just to kind of break everything loose. And then I'll try to start tapping it on the back. I just blow everything out. Now, most new rotors are going to have a uh, protective film on them, keep them from rusting. So you got to make sure you clean that off. And don't forget, now, so. This rotor also has the emergency brakes on the inside. Make sure you get that too. I'm using brake clean. Brake clean does not leave a residue. That's what's nice about it. So if you use something else, just make sure you get all the residue off. Try not to touch the rotor once you clean it. All right. Okay, getting ready to put the rotor on. Of course, you want to make sure your emergency brake pads, these are actually shoes. Um, are good. These look like they're brand new. Okay. So now that the rotor's all cleaned up, <clears throat> it's a good idea to take a look at your shoes. Uh, most automatics are probably going to have brand new looking shoes because most people with an automatic vehicle is not going to set the parking brake too often. And then slide the rotor on. Now, where did my bolts go? There they are. A little Loctite on the uh, caliper mount bolts.
And these are pretty dang tight. I'll put the torques in the uh, description. I don't have them right now. I'm just going to tighten them up. They got locked tight, so I know they're not going anywhere. Um, now make sure when you put these clips on, there's little notches down here right where the rotor rides. And it's for this little tang. If that tang, so these are different. And you got to make sure you got them in the right spot. No, you, no reason to, to fight and cuss trying to figure out how to get those on. Sometimes this can be a little bit of a pain to Okay. That inboard side on these are always kind of a pain. This outboard side usually goes pretty pretty easy. Sometimes it'll have a tendency to this little tang right here will be interfering with that. Don't don't beat on it or nothing. Just take a screwdriver, pry out on it just a little bit. And then that's all there is to that. Make sure these bolts are clean. And make sure on the caliper that these you can't hear that, but I can hear grease sloshing around in there. They move free and I can feel and hear that grease. As long as the boots aren't ripped or anything, then should be good. Now, I can tell that the piston has kind of come out of this just a little bit, so I'm going to compress it just a little bit more so I don't have to, so I can get the caliper on there. They make uh, piston compressors for calipers. But I've always found that just a big pair of channel locks seems to do the trick. Now the nice thing about this Nano is it's got different power settings. So I like to turn it on low and got to plug it in. Once you turn it on low, it makes for a nice, easy installation. Then come back with a wrench, and you can get a torque wrench, of course, and make sure these are right on the money. But uh, I've been doing this long enough to run kind of get a feel for how tight most things should should be. And that's it. Rear brake job is done. Pads and rotors. Probably been out here 30 minutes. And again, this is a 2003 uh, Dodge Ram two wheel drive. Uh, don't forget to pump the brakes. Once I get the tires on, the first thing I'll do, I'm, before I even start it, I'm going to jump in, I'm going to pump the brake pedal to uh, get the brake pedal nice and solid because, you know, it's going to have to push those pistons back out. You guys take care.